Hi, I'm Don Forbes, Project Director for Soil Remediation and Earthworks on the Portland's Flood Protection Project. Today, I'm standing in the middle of the new Don River Valley. The mouth of the river, where it empties into Lake Ontario, is right over there behind me. Now, you may remember me from my game-changing performance in the Portland's 2024 video. It starts with digging a new path for the Don River by excavating 1.4 million cubic meters of soil. The Portlands were created using low quality contaminated fill, so a big part of the job is soil remediation. Well, we simplified things a bit there. Let me tell you about some of the technical details of how we're making all of this happen. The first thing we did was build cutoff walls. We need these to support the excavation and isolate the river valley from the adjacent land and the groundwater. This is a crucial feature so we can avoid trying to excavate waterlogged soil and so we can place the new finishes and plantings that make up the river valley in a dry environment. The cutoff walls extend down to bedrock, which ranges between 20 and 45 meters below the ground surface. This prevents groundwater from seeping underneath them. Next, we started to dig. My old pal Rocky the Rock Ripper tracked how the excavation progressed. We started in the Central River Valley, then over to the Dawn Greenway, up to the ice management area. Now we're working on the elbow. In this stage, we dig down about six to eight meters. As of late May, 2021, we've excavated nearly 700,000 cubic meters of soil. Almost 50% of the 1.4 million cubic meters we're planning to excavate in total. One of the critical components of achieving this design is water management. The water table in the Portlands is very hot, only four to five feet below grade, and Lake Ontario is sitting right next door. So we need to remove water from the soil while we're excavating. We use a system of drains and pumps to keep the excavation dry. The water gets moved to an on-site water treatment system, which can treat two and a half million liters per day before discharging it into the lake. The water coming out of the treatment plant is actually cleaner than Lake Ontario. Once we finish deep excavation of the river valley, we start installing a liner at the base of the excavation. This keeps any contaminants from the soil and groundwater from seeping into the new river valley system. Once the liner is done, we keep the pumps on to keep the excavation dry so we can start building up the finishes. We can't successfully place the soil, riverbed aggregate, and other materials that make up the bottom of the riverbed unless we have a dry, stable environment to work in. We finished installing the liner in the central river valley and have started placing clean soil and river finishes, those rocks I mentioned earlier, that will form the base of the new river. At this point, the river valley is about five meters deep you can also see soil we're piling on the north and south sides of the river to form new parks. We'll continue to keep the river dry as we start planting, so we don't disturb the delicate plants before they've had time to establish. 